as Boyd continues to gather momentum and a lot of companies that hadn't went to a virtual environment are now doing so and in doing so we have to find a happy medium in the firmware to where it is compatible with the current version 8.6 and the newer version 10.5 or 11.5 or whatever they're upgrading to as the migration uh, happens because we're going from a physical um, MCS box I can't think of the name a physical MCS box to virtual machines so we're attempting to build the lab the virtual lab and continue to have the MCS boxes run until the virtual lab is ready we're just going to unplug the network cable plug in it plug it into the virtual environment and poof we up and running now when upgrading from 10. from 8.6 to 10.5 there's a lot of hurdles that you have to go through and on top of that again we're migrating from the old MCS boxes to the virtual environment so it's just a whole lot of things that's got to be done um, one of the smaller issues that is technically a big issue right now is the fact that we're getting an error when we try to update the phone's firmware uh, when you go from 8.6 to 10.5 it it just doesn't support the newer MD5 hashes that Cisco publishes on their website so essentially if you ever see this error you need to contact Cisco and they will give you a smaller cop file that pretty much increases the MD5 hash uh, encryption software on the server to identify with the newer software that they're publishing on their website. I know it's a whole lot of uh, stuff that's probably going over the top of your head. Just know if you ever are upgrading your firmware from a, 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 um, a older version like 8.6 to a newer version like 10.5 and you see this error, just know if you've already validated that the MD5 hash is correct from what you saw on the readme file on the web website that you have this problem and you just simply need to contact Cisco and they will give you a file that will increase your MD5 hash software uh, detection on the communications manager servers and then it will fix the problem and you can go about your firmware upgrade hope this makes sense just a quick video service announcement whatever you want to call it Take care, guys.